today we're going to install the hybrid racing fuel rail with the gauge on this 2006 Honda Civic Si. Alright, first thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and deplete all of the original fuel rail from fuel. So the way I'm going to try to do that and see if it works, don't know, first time I'm going to try this, is I'm going to go inside, disconnect the fuel pump. Alright, if, if you follow your twisted little guide, it says number two, right here, it's the fuel pump. So this one here is number two. Pull that out. Fuel pump is disconnected. So now what we'll do is go ahead and start her up. Oh, it was raining last night. And we'll just let it die. Ooh, I don't even want to start with the fuel pump off. It's like it knows. Well, I pumped it a couple of times. We'll see if it works. All I was trying to do is just try to deplete all the fuel that's in the rail. I don't know if it worked or not. Uh, all these fucking smart cars. I was not expecting that it would detect that the fuel pump's not on. So it wasn't fucking turning on. So we'll see if this works. <laughs> Let's go ahead and remove this. We're going to use a 10 mil to get these off. We'll just break these loose. Sweet. Hang my drill. And we'll go ahead and take these off. I'll just lift the whole cover. Come on, you. Come on, you. All right, and there it is. Oosh, it got dirty back there. All right, there it is, all nice and cleaned up. Because we don't like dirty girls. We like them dirty, but classy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'm going to take these off, these studs because I'm not gonna put that cover back on. Uh, why? I need to show that shit off. So, let's go ahead and remove these. I believe these are 12s. Man, I was wrong. Good thing it wasn't a life or dead situation. 14s. All right, and there it is. Just put these away. And we'll put this in our little storage container. Save that for later. What I meant to say is these are 12s. <laughs> yeah. See, excuse me. All right, and we'll put these just right here. And these, I'm gonna put on this so I don't lose that. There it is, that way we don't lose this. Nice. Now it looks perfect to go with my old cams from my blown Z3. <laughs> okay, now back to the main event. Let's go ahead and remove this little cover from here. There it is. Set that to the side. Go ahead and pinch this here and we'll pull this fuel line out. Alright, so after you loosen it up, what I like to do is put a little towel before I crack it loose. That way, if it dumps gas, it's gonna dump it on the rag. And it's it's basically loose. I just gotta pull it off now. Alright, and there it is. You can see the gas that fell out, and I just turned it around just like that now we're gonna go ahead and unplug our uh, injector pigtails there's four of them so let's go ahead and unplug those I already did a little tuck on mine so I don't have that rail of wires I already have it underneath the fuel rail if that makes sense but anyways same theory go ahead and just disconnect the injectors all right I have them all disconnected now I'm gonna try to pull this fuel rail off. It is a little tight in there because of the injectors. So just try to work it back and forth like this and wiggle it out. Kind of like to put a little bit of pressure here. And just kind of work it until one of them finally gives. And I'm gonna need both hands to do this. All right, and there it is. This still has fuel in there, so I guess it didn't really work. We'll pour it into this gas tank right here, and we'll see. Yep. I guess there's really no point of disconnecting the fuel pump if it still has all that fuel in there. And there's going to be a lot more once I remove these injectors. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull these injectors out. Let's go ahead and pull all these little retainer clips out. They're pretty simple to do. 
just use a flathead and it's just like that just twist the screwdriver there it is see I'm doing this single handedly yeesh I'm gonna scratch my shifter all right now we'll pull the injectors off carefully I'm gonna need both hands don't want to break these all right one is out now I'm gonna get these other ones out all right and there we have it I'm not gonna lie these are tough to come out but the best way to do it is just move it back and forth back and forth and pull back and forth and pull as you're pulling and pulling with the other hand the opposite way on the rail and then you'll notice it'll start slipping 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 until you get it popped out there it is so here's the OEM fuel rail nice now we have another one that a whole bin full of parts from when I rebuilt the motor still brand new oil pan there I replaced the oil pan on this one too so this one has a new oil pan just that one got lost in the mail but it finally arrived so I have two sweet so now let's go ahead and assemble this all right so let's go ahead and take this out from here it's gonna be uh, I don't know what size this one is can't really see the numbers maybe I don't know what has it engraved 316 perfect let's go ahead and take this off and we'll set this to the side grab our little gauge I think I should put some Teflon tape on this all right there it is just for a little peace of mind there's nothing wrong with a little bit of Teflon so I'll go ahead and screw this sucker in and I covered my crescent wrench and painter's tape that way I don't scratch the nice black finish on this and go ahead and secure this down all right and you see 7 16s to finish it off looks pretty sweet now we'll go ahead and put in the ends and the end cap all right now we just need the original clip from the other fuel row and just put it in there uh, we have to cap this one here as well so we'll go ahead and cap that and we'll put the injectors in there clean them up so they're nice and clean so these are gonna go just like this inwards all right I just grabbed a little bit of motor oil and just rubbed it all around the seal so it gives it a nice slippery slope inwards all right and there it is looking beautiful she's ready to install pretty much all right we're not gonna use those factory clips anymore so this is ready to go back inside so let's go ahead and install this all right and there it is pushed in all the way sweet now we'll put in the clips or the pigtails plug in plug them in sweet go ahead and tie these down here it is all right because the gauge here is in the way it's a little bit tricky to tie this one down can't use a socket so I'll just go ahead and secure this as best as possible and there I was able to get it down enough with the small socket for this kit I really think hybrid should have uh, sent the replacement Allen bolts for that all right there it is I was actually surprised they didn't send the replacement bolts it's too bad because the k-tune does sheesh uh, so let's go ahead and connect the fuel rail back into place now all right there it goes this one actually goes sitting right on there on the OEM it just kind of just sits there but that one mounts right onto that sweet sweet and there it is let's go ahead and crank her over so you will not have to pull this fuse I did thinking it was gonna drain my fuel rail out trying to start the car but it sent a signal to the ECU saying hey <laughs> not today <laughs> all right so that is on let's turn over a couple of times to create some pressure turn my radio on 
And what we're doing is we're pumping or priming the pump. That way it builds pressure. Let's go see if it's leaking up front. No gasolina leaks. And we have PSI, bruh. So let's go ahead and crank her over. All right, let's see if she starts. Woo! Right away. Right away. We'll let her idle and warm up. Let's go check that gauge out. Sheesh! She is looking good. No leaks whatsoever. Sweet. There it is. And that is how we install that hybrid racing premium Honda racing gear for the 2006 Honda Civic SI. Ah. Come on, are you gonna clip in or not? Maybe not. Yeah, sweet. Fuck yeah, even better. Thank you for watching. Ah, you guys stay tuned for the shifter springs, the deadton springs, the shift knob. And let's throw this little sock on right now. It's gonna go right in there. Nice. Throw this sucker up in here. There, damn, that shit looks dope. Boy. Hybrid, 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 hybrid. I don't know, bro. You might as well just sponsor me already. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.